All right, folks, good evening, and uh, welcome into the campus of uh, Southern Union State Community College here in uh, Opelika, uh, the home campus for the Southern Union men's soccer team. And uh, we've got, uh, I, it's funny to call it media day, but uh, it, it is kind of a media day, but just an interview with uh, the captains, really, for Southern Union soccer. All five of you were here last year. So we have Caleb Moore, James Ashcroft, Jackson Sandoval, Alex Gonzalez and Ricky Vasquez. Caleb and Jason, or Jackson, excuse me, played both at the same high school in East Ridge High School. James Goley from Johannesburg, South Africa. Alex Gonzalez from uh, Austin High School in uh, North Alabama. And then uh, Ricky Vasquez from Immokalee, Florida High School. So, guys, we, we welcome you today and like I said, it's just we're just relaxed. We're just going to talk a little bit about uh, some things that you you guys really already know the answer. We appreciate it. Today is your first day of class, so you guys uh, had practice uh, and went home and uh, were able to clean up a little bit after practice. And now you're back and uh, going to sit down with us uh, here. And really, guys, the first thing and uh, Kyle Richardson is uh, to my left, and he's going to handle a lot of the questions uh, here today. But uh, the first question I really want to ask you is. How do you feel about the construction of the team, returning players, transfers, and incoming freshmen? And before, and I'm going to direct that to all of you, uh, before I get the answer to that or some of the answer to that, let me give you a little makeup of this com and composition of this team. 14 returners, 26 incoming, six of those are transfers, the other 20 are incoming freshmen. Caleb, I'm going to start with you and let you jump into that. Talk about the makeup of this team. I mean, the um, the depth that we have this year, it definitely is going to help. I feel like last year when we got in, we kind of were just thrown in. It wasn't really about – we didn't really have a system at the start. It was more get their play because it was a brand-new program. So we didn't really have an opportunity to set what we need, where we need, and the players didn't really know where we, they were needed, um, including me and all the returners. So I feel like this year – the makeup of having these 14 returners with that already know the system is allowing the 20, the 26 new guys to come in and everyone fits in. Like there's a place for everyone on the team. Even if you're someone that's not going to get as many minutes, you're still an important piece of the team. So I feel like that's the biggest piece to me. What about one of you guys over here? Uh, yeah. So going off of what uh, Caleb said, it's, um, it's a really good environment right now. Everybody's really getting to know all the freshmen, all the returners, everybody's still learning. Everybody's like tactics, getting used to the roles, everybody's learning their position. But once everybody gets into their position, learn learn what they have to do, I think we have a really good uh, we have really good potential to do something this year. And we didn't we didn't achieve what we wanted to last year, but this year it's on our list and I'm sure we can make it. All right, so, so keeping along that same line, let's let's kind of talk about who who has jumped out as an incoming person, whether they're a transfer or a freshman. One of you guys, somebody answered uh, who you think has stood out in practice? Can, can, I get, can I get more than one? Yeah, oh, yes. All right, well, I'm going to have to say two people that came in is uh, one freshman and one sophomore, personally for me because I play defense. I'm going to have to say uh, Roddy, a center back freshman, and uh, Cade, a sophomore freshman. They've both been working like crazy this season. Yeah, I agree with Cade. Cade's very strong work ethic. He came from a Division One school, so he has a mindset. He already knows really like what we're, what we're looking for, so it helps out. Um, one of my big ones to me is uh, Josh. Um, he's a transfer from uh, BSC. Obviously, the school's not no longer a school anymore. Um, he came in coming off a really bad back injury, and he's coming. He's just lit preseason up, like genuinely. So I'm excited to see what he can do. Yeah, and overall, the freshmen, they came prepared. I mean, we had fitness tests. We had a lot, you know, on their bodies. And, I mean, they all came prepared. They were ready, ready to get to work. So, I mean, it helped out a lot. We didn't have to – because, you know, you got to get in shape first, then we get on the ball. But – it was all right. Everybody came in in shape. Everybody came fit. The first question I'm going to ask you guys is we talked about where you're from, who you are. What position do you play? Caleb, if I remember correctly, you were like a center mid last year. Yes, sir. Uh, I play the eight or the six or uh, box to box or hold in midfield. Um, I basically do – I go both ways. I, I, that's, that's what I do best is just going both ways. So. Just go up and down the row. Yeah, so for me, I played the uh, attacking midfielder position. So I was really just helping up, getting up in the attack, creating something, and assisting my striker. That was my position. I'm a center forward on the nine. He's a goal scorer. 
Uh, it's my job, so I'm here for. All right, well, um, I'm just a goalkeeper. There's, there's nothing just really. Just a goalkeeper. Is not, nothing really special to it. That's about it. Yeah, I play uh, center back. I'm uh, right in front of James. Just gotta gotta protect him first. <laughs> So we got a wide group. We got a center attacking mid, striker, center mid, goalie, and a center back. So we got them pretty much all over the pitch. Caleb, this is going to be directed to you. How was it being named the head captain this season? Um, I think it was good. I think um, stepping into spring, knowing that we had a lot of players leave, um, I was kind of like I was already vice captain, but I was kind of thrown into the head captain role in the spring. I think the boys really responded well. I don't think I had any issues with any of the boys, like, accepting that because I kind of made it known that although I'm head captain, I'm one of the boys. Like, I'm still one of the teammates. I want to be here. I want to win. I want everyone to treat me as a teammate. So there's a level of responsibility that comes with it, though. I mean, whenever something's going wrong, they look to me as well as they look to each other. But the first look is to me. Is to me. And if, uh, if stuff's not going well, I have to answer for it. So that's my big thing. Yeah, so like he said, you know, he, s he really stepped up his game and his leadership role during the spring. And that's one thing for every returner. Everybody respects him because of how he, like, goes with it. Everybody, if you have something going, like, something going on, you, like, you disagree with something, you talk to him personally, he'll understand your situation and he'll fix it and we'll go from there. That's just, like, a leadership role that maybe not everybody has. And I think he demonstrates it very good. Right, and you two over here, center attacking mid and striker. So how important is the chemistry between you guys for the Bison to score a goal? Very, very important. I mean, me and this guy, one, we're roommates. So, and also, too, we train, we train all the time. So, like, any time we get, like, off the pitch and, like, practice is over on our own time, we got to work on our craft, you know, getting our tendencies down, you know, what I like to do, what does he like to do in the game. So, I mean, all the time, like, whether it's practice, off the field, we're always training, always building more chemistry. Yeah, so, like he said, we really have to know each other and what we really like to do. And so, it, it kind of came around uh, last, ja well, this January of uh, when we were coming into spring season, we kind of realized, like, okay, if it's going to be me and you, we really have to lock in. And we hit the field every day. We were in the gym every day. And we just dedicated our time every single day. We were on class. We were in class. We had our classes together. We were on, uh, in class on time. We struggled together, and now we're roommates, and I think it's just going to bring us uh, closer, and it'll benefit the team even more. James, returning starter and goal, how have you kept the two freshman keepers, Wyatt Smith and Raul Hernandez, how have they come along this preseason? Well, I'm very happy that I have them this season because now we all get to work together, improving how we all play at the same time. And, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just happy to have them with us. All right, now we're going to hit on – we talked about how much the depth is going to affect this year and how that will help you all. But what do you think is the biggest strengths of this team? And that goes to any of you. I think the biggest strength of this team is that even whenever stuff's not going well, they don't give up. There's frustration, as there would be anytime something's not going well. But I think that frustration allows us to become better players and better teammates. Another one is I don't think there's not one person on this team that dislikes anyone. I think everyone gets along. Obviously, there's groups that hang out inside teams, but I feel like even when we're all together, you don't notice it, which I think is really going to help in the long run, especially whenever stuff starts to get tough because you can look at your brother and look at him and say, hey, get up. We got this. So. Kind of expanding on that, you mentioned earlier, but we're not going to give the secrets away or anything. But physical, of course, is a huge part of any sport you play in. How big does the mental play in for soccer? Because a, a lot of people out there don't know penalty kicks, stuff like that, free kicks, corner kicks. These are very high-pressure situations. So how does the mental game go into it? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean, the mental game is huge. I mean, with me being a nine, the goal scorer, the game's nil-nil. I mean, 90 minutes, you know, the pressure's on me. I mean, like someone needs to score, and I'm, I'm fine with taking that pressure because I know the guys are confident in me. I'm confident in myself. If we need a goal, I'll bag one. And, I mean, like the mental game is just it's, it's difficult. I mean, every day going in to class, practice, just all of that. Just it's, It takes a toll on your body. It definitely does. But that's why you just got to be strong and get your brothers. Well, I think that mentality is probably more important than physical because if you don't have confidence in what you're able to do, you, there's no way you're going to do it. Uh, 
Uh, so, yeah, I think that uh, the mental side, like they said, I think it's very, very important. I think it's something we also, like, like instilled in the team last year that if you really want to be here, you're going to be here for a reason. It's not going to be – you're not going to be here just to slack off and just to pass time. Like, if you're here, it's because we want a chip. We want that national ring. And so I think the, the mental side of the game is, is only going to get harder, but – but we got to just keep on fighting and give it our all. Is that something you tell people at the Yes, sir. That's uh, that's the main focus, too. They tell us the only way we're going to get through these things is together and, and if we face everything mentally and physically. I mean, just going back to the coach's point, I mean, every little thing Coach Jones is making sure, like, like that we're doing it right. I mean, it's literally from leaving trash on the field after. I mean, almost straight up one day at pre in preseason, and including the returners, we let it slip for one day. I mean, punishment session the next day. I mean, it's – yeah, we, we were meant <laughs> to have the next day off, and we were at the field running sprints, I mean, as we should. Uh, if if you're not going to do the little things right, the little things add up into the big things. And yeah. so that's the biggest thing I'd say. Just like you said, the little wins add up. You want to get those little wins so then you get the big ones. Because you get those little losses, it'll just add up, and it's just it's not good overall for the team. All right, we're going to kind of put you all in the hot seat here, talk about Coach Clay. And ha him being promoted from the video analyst, being promoted to the first assistant this year, how has he impacted you guys heading into this season? Oh yeah, I'll start this one off. I think Clay is like a good like vi visual representation of patience takes. Patience is everything. So he, Clay started off with you know with film and everything, telling us, okay, look guys, this is where you guys went wrong. Maybe we should do this. And then we would go to the field and fix it. And now he's an assistant coach. I think he showed us that pa with patience, everything can be done. And now he's our assistant coach, and I hope, you know, we give him our all and he gives us his all and we, we do something together. There's not one person that I think deserves that position more after what he did last year than him. Genuinely. I mean, last year it was – I could be wrong. I th I'm pretty sure it was a volunteer role. And he was still giving us hours and hours and hours of his time off the field when we're not around him analyzing, cutting down film showing everyone what we can and can't do wrong. He's there for us off the field if we need to talk to someone. I mean, without him, a lot of the stuff that went wrong in the fall wouldn't have been wouldn't have been fixed in the spring. So to add to that, I would have to say that Clay's like a perfect mix between a coach and a friend. Like he's someone that'll be there for you every single day at practice, but he's also gonna be the person there to work you more than anybody else. And the job he did being a video analyst, that's not I know you guys mentioned it, but it's really not an easy job breaking down film and all kind of stuff like that because as a center attacking mid, you got to know when to hit the through ball to your striker to get that right. Mm -hmm. And on corner kicks, you got to be in the right formation. you got to be in the right set every single time where else something's going to go wrong. And it was up to him who was using hard hours all day and night trying to get all that stuff right, and that's what makes you guys a better team. All right, are there any games in particular you guys are looking forward to? Daytona. I, I'm from Orlando. It w did not go well last year. I was visibly frustrated in the game. They're coming up to our field, and I wish nothing but the best for their team. Honestly, I know some of the guys on the team, but that game hurt me last year. I had all my family at the game, and it did not go well, and it's going to go better this year. And Orlando is – or East Ridge is in the Orlando area or suburb? Yes, sir. Above? It's an hour and a half away from Daytona. So I live seven hours from here, so my family can't be at every game. I, my family was at that game. And so it meant, it meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to Jackson as well. All his family was at the game as well. So, Yeah, I agree with the Daytona. That was one of our bigger losses, and it definitely hurt, like, everybody on the team. And it was also they had a fan base there. They had a whole bunch of people there. I think it was, I want to say, their, you know, sophomore night where all the guys were leaving. So they, you know, they planned for us to come, and they, they made it big, and we, we didn't show out. So now they're coming to us. So we look forward to it. Like Caleb said, I'm from Florida as well. I'm nine and a half hours from here. And so all my family attended the uh, Eastern Florida and Daytona game, and it didn't go well for us. So, I mean, for us to beat any Florida school, I think that's that's what I want. But I'm really looking forward to the to the new Miami-Dade school. I'm really looking forward to them. Yeah, I, I agree with Ricky, though, actually. I'm I'm looking forward to playing against Miami-Dade. There's a, there's a lot of hype for that team, so I'm looking forward to playing against them, too, because they're a new school or a new program, I guess, and we were a new program last year, so I'm looking forward to that game. James, anybody that you played last year that, that just really sticks out in your mind that you're looking forward to playing again? 
I'd have to say the same as Caleb and Alex, just Daytona, just because of what happened last year. And with all the new talent coming in, I'd just like to see how we compare compared to how we did last year. All right, I'm going to stay with you, James. <coughs> coming from South Africa, I your experience compared to your expectations? Well, in South Africa, the game relies a lot more on pace and a lot of the teams just pick and chase the ball whereas coming here it's it's a lot more based on passing so that that was a lot different and the passing in the game is at a higher pace than in South Africa so that's the one big thing I'd say stood out all right and one of the last questions that I have is you guys are part of the first ever SU soccer team SU soccer anything what kind of legacy do you want to leave when you leave Southern Union? You are the guys that have planted the seeds and put the footwork in for everyone else to come behind you and build off of the program that you've made. Um, I think the biggest thing is that this is a second chance. A lot of guys coming here are coming off injuries. I came off one myself. I came off a torn ACL, lost all the looks I had. I had a bunch of I had a bunch of schools watching me, and there were a couple coaches at the game that I tore it right in front of them. Um, Coach Jones gave me that call, gave me that second chance, and this is the place to do it. You're in a great area, surrounded by great teachers that want you to succeed, and you have a coach that will do nothing but help you. And winning is something, like I say this, I hate losing more than I like winning. And so when I lost, because I felt like I lost after I had that injury, like this, this gave me that chance to win, and I'm not going to take it for granted. And I think everyone that comes to the school needs to realize that this is the place to win. That's what I want to leave. Yeah, <clears throat> and also, to where the school I come from, up in North Alabama, not a lot of guys go play college soccer. And, you know, being able to have that JUCO route, it's cheaper school. You know, it helps out. You know, I'm a great athlete, but I was also overlooked. There's not a lot of people going to go watch Austin High School. They're not a big soccer school. So it helps out to be able to have an opportunity to go showcase myself and continue my career and move forward. So it helps out. Uh, one thing that I want to see just stay with this program forever is that, like, everybody treating each other as, like, family, just everybody getting along, no one just getting singled out. I just – I would want to see that stay. Uh, well, I think for me, I think a legacy, you know, we would like to leave behind is if you're coming here, it's for a reason, like I said before, and that is just straight hard work. There's – you can't slack off. Like, if you're here, give it your all. Do your two years. Do your one year. Get out of here. Make the, make the best of it. You make You make new friends. You make new brothers. These are new connections. I'm going to know these guys for the rest of my life now. So if I ever need anything, I know that you guys have my back. I think that's something that's going to go a long way for anybody that attends this school. Well, I agree with with Ricky and Jackson. It's just I just want to see the culture stay and how everyone cares for one another. And there's, there won't be a single moment where we won't. And that's, that's really one big thing I want to see stay with this program. All right, guys, one last question for me. Your goals for yourself and the team this season, and I, I kind of want to hear from all of you. Well, for me, I think I'm shooting really, really high for me uh, academically because my first year I had an injury and I wasn't all, I wasn't all there on the field and in school, and so it re I really did bad academically. So for me, I'm really shooting really, really high. And, I mean, on the team, you have to have above a 3.0 GPA. So I'm shooting above a 3.5 this year. And so that's that's one thing academically I need to stay in the books. And on the field, I'm really just going with the flow and enjoying my time here, like I said. And whatever happens next, it happens. And I hope, you know, I get a Division One offer, Division Two offer. But if it don't, I know I have uh, a career ahead of me that I look forward to. Yeah, for me, like individually, uh, I want to aim for that top score. I want to be top scorer on the team. That's, that's going to give me the best looks to go to a bigger school, a bigger university. And as a team, you know, uh, I just want to, like we said, get our revenge back on the Florida schools. I want to go to Florida. Whether we have to travel to them, they come to us. And I want to win so we can get tickets to go to Kansas, Wichita, and just ball out playoffs. I'd say the biggest for me is is um, I want to prove myself right. I put in countless hours since I was – since I was – can't even remember how old. I've played this game my whole life. My whole family's European. That's all they do. I don't have any family in the States. Like, that's all I do is play soccer. I watch soccer. It's all I do. And I've put in countless numbers of hours. I gave up years of high school soccer in order to go to play at the, the top level of the collegiate soccer. And 
it's not taken away from me yet. And I feel like there's that chance to go get what I deserve. And I know what I deserve. And I know what these boys are capable of. And I know that we can do big things. And so on top of that, I got my first B ever in school last year. <laughs> so uh, ever in my life. And it was the most frustrating. And it was a hard class. It was accounting. And I'm good at math. So that was the biggest thing for me. So I want to make sure I stay on top of it because that makes you enticing to bigger schools. So be good grades and be the best player on the field. That's that's my goal. And be and go go to Kansas. Let's win something. So uh, individually, it, it sounds simple to say, but just moving on to a bigger four-year university. That that's really it. Keep my grades up. Keep playing well. That's all I really want. And yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> For me personally, I'd say I want to be there, more there for the team this year than I was last year, whether that's on the field, off the field, just like more there for the team and just like an overall better leader than I was last year. Well, the one thing that I can sum this up is, is uh, they're all competitive, but they're all grounded. And the common thing from that one thing was my grades because I think every one of them realized that there could be life after soccer. You got to do something else. No wonder that Coach Jones picked you guys to come in and and sit down. Uh, and it, it's a pleasure. I, I remember a couple of you from last year more than I do others. And and we just appreciate y'all taking your time tonight to sit down. And uh, some of your families are watching. And I will say this. We'll post this back on our iSchool Sports Network uh, YouTube page. Give me some hours to do it. But we'll, we'll get that back up so you can watch it and and everything but uh guys uh, caleb james jackson alex ricky and coach giles is actually in the house tonight he was sitting over there listening to him talk about him and coach jones uh under the weather today and uh, not being able to be with us uh but i know he's sitting at home watching and i know he's proud of you because uh you guys you guys have uh, have earned your positions and earned your captainship on this team and look forward to broadcasting your games thank you guys